Yay. Welcome to the candy shop, boys and girls. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Where we learn and exercise and have fun. Hey. All right, get up out those seats, guys. And move those limbs. Get it. Get it. Get it. Come on, you gotta get up for this one. Hey, do you guys know that there are 12 months in a year? Yep. 12. One, two. 12 months in a year. And we all can claim one of those months. Me, I claim February. Cause that is my birthday month. I'm a February baby. And you guys have one too. Ask your parents, make sure you know when your birthday is, okay? Hey, do you guys know what month this is? I bet you don't know what month this is. Can you guys tell me what month we're in? It is springtime, guess what? April. A P R I L A. Come on, guys. P R I L. Yes, April. 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 Yes, it is April. And that's springtime, right, guys? Yes. And it's one of the 12 months. Guess what? There's 11 more. Hey. So, I want to go over them. Just so that I can make sure you guys know what they are. Are you ready? All right. Let's go. January. February. March. April. Yes. May. June, July, August, September, October, November, one more, December. All right, all right, all right. Okay, let's do it again. All right, let's do it again now. When the month of April come up, guys, which is today, April, we are going to, yay, go April. Hey, we're gonna give one up for the month of April. We made it through COVID and everything, guys. We are here. We are in April now. It's 2021, all right? January, come on. February, March, here we go. April, May, hey, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. All right, all right, all right. Come on, we gotta do it one more time, right? But this time, guys, I want you to get up on your birthday month and freestyle a dance, okay? Come on, January, me, February, <laughs> March, April, May, June, July. How about that? August, September, October, November, December. All right. Awesome job, guys. Okay, how about we read a book? We read a book. How about Math Curse? Oh, are you guys nervous? Math Curse. Hmm, sounds a little bit scary, don't it? Well, let's find out. How can math be a curse? Hmm, okay, so check this out. On Monday, in math class, Miss P Miss Fibonacci says, <laughs> "You know, you can think of almost everything as a math problem." Guys, on Tuesday, I started having problems. <laughs> oh my! Well, I wake up at 7:15 a.m. Right? It takes me 10 minutes to get dressed. 15 minutes to eat my breakfast, and one minute to brush my teeth. Now, suddenly, again, here's the problem. <laughs> Listen, if my bus leaves at 8 a.m., will I make it on time? 
Hmm. Okay, so how many minutes are in an hour? How many teeth are in one mouth? All type of questions started coming, right? Okay, so then I look at my closet and then the problems get worse. <laughs> I have one white shirt, guys. Three blue shirts, three striped shirts, and one ugly plaid shirt my Uncle Zemo gave me. Oh my. Now, how many shirts is that all together? How many shirts would I have if I threw the awful plaid one away? And when will Uncle Zemo quit sending me ugly shirts? <laughs> I'm getting a little worried, guys. Because everything now seems to be a problem. <laughs> Check it out. I take the milk out for my cereal, right? And then I wonder, how many quarts are in a gallon? How many pints are in a quart? How many inches in a foot? How many feet are in a yard? How many yards are in a neighborhood? How many inches in a pint? How many feet in my shoes? Oh my. <laughs> oh, I don't even bother to take out the cereal. I don't wanna know how many flakes are in a bowl. Miss Flibiaki has obviously put a curse on me. Mm. So guess what? Everything I look at or think about has become a math problem, guys. Oh my, where is this headed? I'm already off to a rocky one, right? I can't get math out of my head. Check it out. I try to get on the bus without thinking about anything, but there are five kids already on the bus. Hmm, five kids get on at my stop and five more get on at the next stop and five more get on at the last stop. My, oh my, guys, check it out. Miss Tribiaki has this chart of what month everyone's birthday is in, right? Okay, which one has the most birthdays? Which month has the fewest? Why doesn't February have a W? Don't you think this chart look sort of look like a row of buildings? <laughs> He's thinking of everything. Hey, he said, do you ever look at clouds and think they look like something else? What does this ink block look like, guys? <laughs> math. Oh, he got it got him thinking of everything as a math problem. He can't seem to get math out of his head. Let's check him out now. He looks pretty busy, right? Yeah. Oh my. Okay, so the whole morning is one problem after another. There are 24 kids in my class. I just know someone is going to bring cupcakes to share. We sit in four rows with six desks in each row. What if Miss Filinaki rearranges the desk to make six rows? Eight rows, three rows, two rows. I count the 24 kids in our class again. This time, by twos. Oh my, Jake scratches his paper with one finger. How many fingers are in our class? Casey pulls Eric's ear. How many ears are in our class? The new girl, Kelly, sticks her tongue out at me. How many tongues are in our class? I'm about to really lose it. When the lunch bell rings, great, right? Saved by the bell. <laughs> so he thinks. Let's see what happened next, guys. Well, unfortunate for me, lunch is pizza and apple pie. Each pizza is cut into eight equal slices. Each pie is cut into six equal slices. And you know what that means? Fractions. Ugh. Okay, so if I want two slices of pizza, what would I ask for? A eighth? Two eighths? Two slices of pizza? Hmm. What is another way to say half of an apple pie? Do you guys know? I mean, is it two six? Is it uh, three six? Maybe la tilemo? I don't know. Okay, but then again, I can't even decide. Which tastes greater? Half a pizza or half an apple pie? Well, we haven't studied fractions yet. <laughs> so I'll take 12 carrot sticks, three at a time, and eat them two at a time. Oh boy, this math. 
listen in the afternoon guys every subject is a problem social studies is a geography problem the mississippi river is about four thousand kilometers long and eminem is about one centimeter long and there are 100 100 centimeters in a meter and 1000 meters in a kilometer now estimate how many eminems it would take to measure the length of the mississippi river Estimate how many M&M's you would eat if you had to measure the Mississippi River with M&M's. <laughs> how about that? Hey, this is awesome. This is awesome. Oh my goodness, there is such thing as a math curse. Listen, English. English, guys, is a word problem. If mail plus box equals mailbox, does lipstick equals lip plus stick? Does 